Hey guys, today we are reviewing HTI, HTI's thermal imaging camera. Now this is a must buy if you have a MacBook Pro or anything from Apple that tends to overheat. And I gotta say, I've been using this guy for a couple of weeks now. It's actually helped me detect my Vega 20 MacBook Pro overheating. 43 degrees centigrade, 44.5 degrees centigrade. Don't use the keyboard, mate. It'll burn your fingers off. So I found out that getting a 560X is actually better than the Vega 64, but of course, I'll tell you the deal with this device. Now this device, it's a mid-range price. Thermal imaging cameras, they can get pretty expensive pretty quick. And I found that this one, it gets a 60 by 60 resolution display. If you want higher quality, they double in price, they triple in price, they get very expensive. For this one, it's probably the most expensive budget version you can get. So I scoured Banggood and I found this deal. And this one over here, 60 by 60 display, it's great for playing Go, Hide and Seek. It's great for finding out if your MacBook Pro overheats. It's great to find out how your brain activity is happening. It kind of works, it works really well. And I gotta say, my wife's brain activity is amazing, especially when she reads books. All right, so deep into the jungle, we can see a real life primate. You can see that she's doing some educations up in here. So the book that she's reading, 26 degrees and we want to go to the cerebral cortex. Elon Musk loves this stuff. So we can see that 35 degrees up in there. That is the frontal lobe. If we look towards the back where the memory accesses are, it gets lower, 28, not much activity registering there. So while she is reading knowledge and it is being processed into the frontal lobe, towards the back, nothing's actually being stored. Though she's not that good at playing go hide and seek. So where could she be hiding in this room? Oh, there's a little heat signature up in there. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Capture it as proof. Yeah, definite heat blob up in there. Yeah, I can see you. Ah! You found me! Ah! Now, regarding the range, I've tested this guy out up to 15 meters. That's as far I can get away from it. And it worked pretty well. So there is still a blob far enough away. This is now 15 meters away, you can see 30 degrees. So we got at least 15 meters range for a big blob. I'm going all the way close. All the way close, I can see the big. Looks like an alien. Of course, it does depend on the size of the blob. So when I was trying to find out how hot my tea was, because I'm a tea perfectionist, I found that I can only get a good sense of heating from around three meters away. When I went to five, it was a bit too small, so I couldn't figure out the range, but it works and it's kind of good. Great for getting those amazing Starbucks coffees. Yeah, the best coffee you can get. Okay, other things to know about this guy. It's got a screw hole on the bottom so you can attach some sort of device like this. So you can record yourself and the screen going at one time. Unfortunately, it doesn't have video recording. It just takes screenshots of the screen display and it records it in BMP format. This is like 1990s technology over here. However, I just convert into JPEG. I'm living the happy life and you get a, an SD card, comes free in the box with it. You don't get any batteries, but you can use battery yourself. One thing to note about batteries, I found that it is, a, it is a, a battery monster. If you're using rechargeable batteries, I found that it always says that those guys are low powered, so you need to buy non-rechargeable ones to get some battery range, and it eats them up, chews them down, so just turn it off when you're not using it. It's got a nice little mix between the range to allow you to see the normal camera view and the heat camera view and kind of like blend it in and have some fun with it. So overall, it is a fun device to have at home. You can check for window leakage, you can check out for the radiator if it's performing well, gas leakage, kids, where are they hiding, all this kind of good stuff. <laughs> no, you found me. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what thermal imaging camera you guys are using at home today. Wow, wow, wow. All right, this comes all the way from Banggood and it is HTI's thermal imaging camera. It has infrared thermal imager that can blend visible and infrared images. Its resolution is 3,600 pixels and its range of temperature is minus 20 degrees to plus 300 degrees. You get a nice clip and a beautiful case. Ooh. Look at this beautiful feeling device. Look at a beautiful big screen. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da 
my phone. Let's see how hot that guy gets. And as you can see, it's cool as a cucumber. Turn it on. It is still running pretty well. Now let's switch over, over to my Samsung Galaxy S9. And you can see there's a little bit of heat happening over there. So you can see it's 24 and a half degrees, whereas my iPhone is 22 and a half degrees. Now let me show you the menu quickly. Over here you can change it from degrees to Fahrenheit. It does also come with an eight gigabyte SD card. So you don't need to buy one yourself. My brightness is only at 10% and it is bright as hell to me. So that is good news. And to take a picture, you hold down this button. And either pressing no or yes. I'm gonna store this one because it's a beautiful photo and that's it, it's stored on my memory card to investigate on my computer. Must kill.